but I don't think he could have ever imagined that this poem would be received in such dramatic fashion. And Murdoch recalled of this moment where, you know, he's just uttering the final words of the poem Sheridan's Ride, and the crowd's just going wild, cheering for him, cheering for Sheridan, cheering for Union victory. And he wrote simply, Murdoch did, the sound of my voice uttering the last word had not died away when cheer after cheer went up from the great concourse that shook the building to its very foundation. In the days after Murdoch's performance, the poem was published in newspapers across the North. And it became not only a celebrated work, something to stir the, the patriotic emotions of individuals in the North, but it became a political tool for the Republican Party to garner votes for Lincoln among undecided voters. And so without explanation on the day of the election, the New York Tribune published the entire poem on the front page. And this was done to serve as a reminder to voters to remind them of the success that Sheridan enjoyed. As we talked about during our session Monday, everything that happens in the autumn of 1864 prior to the election has the election looming over it. Publishing that poem is a very clear, stark reminder of union success in the Valley. It is a stark reminder that this might not have happened had President Lincoln not given the final approval to Ulysses S. Grant to appoint Sheridan commander of the Army of the Shenandoah, but he did. And we're winning now, we're turning this thing around and we're going to restore the Union. We're gonna crush the Confederacy. And if you're undecided, you need to vote for Lincoln. So the importance of this poem, it transcends the, 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 the power it gives to Sheridan's legacy. 